What's going on everybody? Low Tech back here with another video. Today I'm looking at the Switch Lite. In particular, I'm looking at the PPSSPP standalone emulator for it. It's available in the homebrew store. You can search for it and you'll find it. You can install it and run it right from your homebrew menu. A couple reasons I want to do this video. One, just to be able to show everyone how the performance is with this build and also to compare the performance of this build to how PPSPP runs on Android 10. That way, if one of the other performs much better, you know, we all can see it and know about it. A couple of things before we get into it. One, like usual for most of my videos, or all of my videos for that matter, I don't tweak the settings too much, if not at all. Reason being, there's a lot of people that just aren't familiar with the deep, advanced stuff that comes with emulation. Just getting the emulator on here and getting the games on here can be a task in itself if you're not familiar with it. So getting it all loaded and then firing up a game and then it don't work or it's terrible, you don't know what to do. So I like to give everybody the option of seeing how the game is going to run by doing just that, load, putting the games in and pressing the go button. So only things I've changed here are frame skip. I enable frame skip, I set it to auto. Resolution is the default 1x and that's it. So real quick before we get into it, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you can get updates as to when I post new videos. I would greatly appreciate it and it'll help keep these videos coming. Thank you. So now let's get into some PSP gaming on the Nintendo Switch.
kick. Royal fields it at the one. and we are set to go here from San Francisco. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Hit hard, but foul. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first half. Uh, I must say I am impressed with this build of PP, SSPP. I don't know how long this particular build has been out. I haven't messed with it until recently. I was mainly on Android 10 or on my Galaxy S20. I haven't actually played with the standalone PP, SSPP for the Switch. Um, PP, SSPP is a great emulator for PSP. It's one of the only real one I know about, and, and it's a good emulator. So I was actually quite happy with uh, the Force Unleashed. I know on my S20, it's got a red hue that I've done a bunch of research trying to figure out 
how to get rid of, and nobody really has the real answer. But I was surprised that I didn't have it on this issue, and it could be a hardware. The hardware difference is what's causing it, but the games, for the most part, ran pretty good. Um, one of the ones I didn't dis didn't show that I had played in the other video was uh, Resistance Retribution, and it didn't run at all. This, it was still pretty much not playable, but it did run a little bit faster on this build versus Android's build, but still wasn't to the point of being playable. All the rest of the games that I did on both and that I've personally just seen on both at this point, there's not much of a difference. Some some of the games perform better on this build and some of them perform better on Android. It's really which game, but it's not a huge difference in either one. I would say this build is great if you're on, especially if you're on like a Switch Lite or a patch switch and you know you're stuck with having a hardware mod this is this is pretty much the only option you have and it's just as good as android when it comes to psp slight differences but just know that you're not missing out when it comes to psp all right well that's it for this video but coming soon very soon is going to be saturn back on my unpatched switch on Android 10 under the recently released official switch root build so that's coming next and then uh, upcoming also that's in the works is DS on Android 10 Dolphin on Android 10 the uh, official switch root build of Android 10 like a review video with some emula emulation showcases also and then I want to get back over on the Linux and Ubuntu and the RetroPie build, Laka build and I want to do some uh, older hardware reviews, see how they perform this year and if they're worth buying and if they're how they perform on emulation so I've got a lot going on so don't forget to hit the uh, little bell so you know when a video drops so again thank you everyone for watching and I hope you all have a good day